email us at loose.women at itv.com. But first, can I say what a relief it is to be here after months Aww. of keeping this job quiet for a start, which was the hardest thing. But thank you, ladies, for having well, me. Welcome, welcome along. Yeah, thank how you. you. Doing? A bit nervous. I was a bit nervous. I'm a bit be better than I thought I would have been after Monday night, where you all broke me in so <laughs> gently. You were inducted into the loose panel, weren't the you? Loose the loose women hall of fame, where I sat across you, Carol, yeah. and and answered your questions all night. And yeah, uh, yeah we had fun, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, baptism of fire. It fire, was. By it? the end of the night, I'd gone from being Kate to Oi, Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not old enough. <laughs> well, but can I just say, look, you might be sitting at this desk, you might have come to the TV Quick Awards with us on Monday night, you might be calling yourself a loose woman, but actually you're not yet. <laughs> what else are you going to do to me? <laughs> because you're not a loose woman until you've got... Oh! Sure. Look, the England team got their pass to the World Cup last night and I get my loose women mug today. Yeah, it's you official. seem very calm and cool, don't you think? Oh, oh yeah. Sherry. I think you she's been on television. It's the gin. You know, you do. You do. Uh, fantastic to come on and look at you. And you've oh, been being a mum, you. haven't you? You've done, you've well, done mostly that. You know, you know what it's like. You've, you've had children yourselves, except Carol, who can't stand them. Uh, <laughs> I will never, please God, have children. No, she I never will. Don't you worry. But so you know, goodness. when you've been in Nappy Valley for a while, I'm really looking forward to some adult conversation and just being out you of the park. You won't get No, I know. I'm waiting for the grown-ups to come yeah. on. <laughs> You're going to have to. OK, well, ladies, uh, are you going to ease me in gently with our first subject? Yes. 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 I promised my boyfriend that I would not talk about him on the show, and I said, don't worry, it's not all about the bedroom. <laughs> Separate beds, ladies. I'm going to start as I mean to go on. Uh, yeah, today's Daily Mail features an article about um, a couple who say that sleeping in separate beds has saved their marriage. And this comes after a report this week that says the secret to a successful, long and happy marriage is exactly that, just sleeping in separate beds. So what do you think, girls? Well, are you happy to go your own separate ways when the lights go out? Well, I think sleeping in separate beds with someone else is a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not a marriage, that's an affair. Oh, oh, yes, or separate beds in the same room, like in dodgy hotels when they can't stretch to a double and you have to push the twins together. Um, <laughs> but I think, actually, it's quite a good thing. I think, you know... You? Yeah, no, I do. I think under special circumstances, like... Yeah. Um, Paul and I are actually doing it at the moment. Uh, separate beds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How'd you manage that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you do it when you're in separate beds. Carol, <laughs> it's not all about it. Yes. Oh. They don't call me Mr Tickle for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but purely because Paul's, you know, he's, he works with uh, a factory in China, so he has to be up all hours dealing with emails from there, and because of the time difference, it might mean he gets to bed at, like, two in the morning, and I've, I've got to be up for this at, like, six o'clock, mm. and it's just being thoughtful and respecting each other's kind of schedule. And so I it's think... an act of consideration? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it applies to abstinence. Oh, oh it's not it. anymore. Why not? Because in the other room. You don't no, want me anymore. No, no, no. Oh, no, it's only on the odd occasion. I mean, I actually, when he's not in the bed, for example, if he's gone out and he's, like, come in quite late, I get really, really panicky if, if, if he's not there. I really, really miss him. But if I know that for a practical reason, i.e. Oh. work or, you know, new baby sometimes, oh. you know... Yeah. The thing is, you, you know, you've been with him a while, haven't you? I think, for me, it's all new. So, I hate it when he's not there. Do you? Oh, God, I can't stand it. And he's enormous, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he is! He's very tall, you're right. He is, yeah. he is very tall. Very tall, very tall. But you wouldn't oh, he's huge. If he wasn't there. Stop making your own jokes yeah, at you. Well. <laughs> but do you know what? I mean, you know, as well as I do, I was single for a long, long time, and I've said many, many times on this show, I, there's absolutely... No, no way. way. <laughs> I, I'm so used to my own space, my own bed and yeah. everything, and I love it. And if I ever go out with anyone ever again, we will have separate bedrooms, separate bathrooms, separate flats, even. Separate and I, counties, I never even. thought it would happen, but, you know, Mark, he has still got his own flat, and I do send him there sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> go away. Banished. No, 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 because he's been ill. When, he, when he's ill, he was ill, and he was sweating everywhere, and I thought, you yeah, don't stop need sweating everywhere. <laughs> you just send oh, him home. Yeah, no, I 
I did look hard. <laughs> you could do well over there. Between you. <laughs> no, you don't want a sweaty person next to you, do you? No. Yeah. Yeah. Sweating all over the place. Well, I don't want it. He's not but like that all the time. It's only when he's ill. Only when he's ill, no. Yeah. But no, I do. I absolutely, I love it. I, I mean, if, you know, if there was for some reason we had to have separate... I don't know, I think there was something a little bit wrong, well, no, but then it's early I days, think, yeah, I suppose. I think in the early days, I think you're absolutely right, but as, as Lisa, Lisa pointed out, you know, I've, we've, we've just had a baby. Mm. I say I, we've just had a baby. So it's been practical and it's been an act of consideration on our part, I think, to give each other a good night's sleep. So yeah. during those really early f months where it was exhausting, it was it was m much needed, mm. actually. And there's but no point I, in you I, both I, being tired, No, is there? no, not at all, but... Um, it's not quite the same when there's an empty bed. Well, you, you see, I it. think for cleanliness sake, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good idea to have separate beds, separate rooms and separate bathrooms, ladies. <laughs> Isn't that true? Well, we can't all afford that. Absolutely. I don't care. Give him a sink in the hall. <laughs> They, what do men do in bathrooms? What is it? Why can't they Same ever hit you. the... They can't hit the loo. <laughs> so they don't you... wash the sink round, do they? They don't wash the bath round. They leave tide marks. They don't wash cleaning a shower in. So, so is there so any no, hope for you? No, Will you ever no, live with a man listen, again, Sherry? I think it's a very sexy thing if you've got two bedrooms and you go to his and he woos you and you do all that thing that everybody does in a bed, whatever it is. Um, and, you, and, then, and then you leave him with all the me. And you go back to your room to a beautiful bed that's tiny. Oh, I think no. it's quite Sherry, sexy. you are dating the wrong men yeah. if they're that disgusting, they're let me tell you. They're not all like that. OK, <laughs> stay